Let me see if I can get a crafting table ready to go here. You know, we just gotta get some dirt first because why the hell not? And then Jax is gonna break it because he wants to break it. Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros. And today we're doing something that I thought we would never try. We're going to try gaming on a Windows 10 tablet. This is a Windows 10 tablet from Chewy and it features a newer Intel processor, albeit not a great processor, but it does come with newer Intel graphics. So we had to see, can it actually play some games? But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Banggood, a global online shop where you can find some awesome tech at great prices. Today we have the Gamma K TK68 mechanical keyboard, which is a wireless 68 key keyboard that can connect via Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 gigahertz, or in wired mode with the included USB type C cable. It also comes with hot swap switches with support for three pin or five pin mechanical switches, a built in 1900 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium battery that can be used in back light mode for six hours or 24 hours without backlight for really awesome wireless connectivity. The included Gatoron switches are also super smooth and provide a great typing and gaming experience. You can pick this keyboard up today over at banggood.com with a wide range of different switches and keycap profiles. Check the link in the description down below to learn more and special thanks again to Banggood for sponsoring today's video. So as many of you may know or remember, Windows 8.1 when it came out was really popular because they wanted to use it with tablets. Um, and that's why for many people like us, we hated it, but they made it very tablet-like interface. And then Windows 10 came out, everybody loved it because they went kind of back to the Windows 7 traditional way, but they kept a lot of the Windows 8.1 features that make it able to work well with the tablet. So this is like one of the last companies to actually still make Windows 10 tablets. So we're kind of interested to see how it works. And it comes with Windows 10 home, a processor, a keyboard, and an actual stylus. So you get like the whole combo here for under $300. So if you're someone who really wants a tablet and wants a Windows experience along with it, could this be a good option for you? Well, I think so, but we're just gonna open this thing up and see for sure. So this is supposedly a keyboard. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we get with the Chewy keyboard. I think it's like one of those little like membrane, like not that great, like foldable case keyboard kind of things. Yeah. Oh, it has a case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it actually comes with a case. And let's get it open. Lots of ear, ear rape here. Um, how's that keyboard? It's actually really not bad. I mean, it just feels like a typical laptop keyboard, but yeah. the keys feel pretty nice, um, not super loud. They kind of feel a little bit clicky. And it looks like we have some sort of like, I don't know if that's just a cover for this or if the tablet will actually go in it. I get to buy the tablet going in it, but yeah. it's only one way to find out. Yeah. Oh. And uh, well, let's open, let's open the stylus. It's stylish, gotta see what's in the stylus. We can't skip the stylus, so. Yeah. For a lot of tablet people out there, you know, one of the reasons you want a tablet is maybe to do some drawing and stuff. And um, they don't really didn't seem like they cut it too short. It actually comes with like an extra, I guess it'd be like the, the pen, hmm. right? I mean, it yeah. looks like it's the same thing. I don't really understand what it's for, but um, it also comes with what I can only assume attaches to the pen. You know, I don't know, man. This is all foreign, is. foreign technology, but it looks like it comes with micro USB, plugs in right back here. So that's nice, it doesn't take like a battery or anything. This does have two little macros on it, probably for like a race, you can probably customize them. Um, it looks really nice though. I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. So now, you know, we just gotta open the actual item that we're excited about here. And uh, you know, we'll of course test out the stylus. We're obviously gonna use the keyboard and trackpad. Um, I don't know if this thing will have any USB on it, because that'll be something kind of interesting. It's like, you know, maybe we can use a Bluetooth mouse, but obviously when you're gaming, you aren't gonna wanna use that. That's not gonna be very fun. So let's go ahead and just get everything out here and then we'll go through the contents of the package. Yeah, that Intel uh, Celeron N4500, it is only a dual core. And that's the main downside is just having two cores nowadays. Not the greatest, but it comes with six gigs of RAM, that adapter. EU uh, power, oh gosh, EU, EU power, power adapter. Yeah, and um, a 128 gig SSD. It does come with the US one, the standard. You can uh, take the front of this off, like it slides off and then you can get an EU one on there. It uses USB-C to charge. Pretty awesome. Modern. So you might actually, yeah, you might be able to easily get other chargers for it. This is probably just, you know, <laughs> something we don't read because <laughs> we can't read. But the tablet itself is a pretty standard size tablet. I think it is a... 10.1. 10.1, that sounds about right. It doesn't even say on the box. Yeah, it says it on there. It says it on here. So we have an IPS 10.1 inch display. It's actually 1920 by 1200. 
That's a pretty big resolution for an Intel Celeron to push. But Intel Celeron N5400 in that has the UHD, uh, it's 350 graphics, which I'm not super familiar with. I know most of the newer ones come with much higher end ones, so we'll have to see how that does. Uh, keyboard with a docking station, which goes right here. Um, let's see, we have technology for <laughs> stylus pen, technology. and it is touch screens. Wow. Believe it or not, it is a touch screen tablet. It looks like it actually has, I think those are speakers. I thought maybe they're USB-C. Oh, look, we actually have some ports. We have a micro SD card reader. I don't even know what that is. Is that like some type of HDMI out? Maybe, maybe like a mini display port. Mini display port. It's already turning on. I don't oh. think I pressed anything, but it does have two USB-Cs. So there actually is hope for hooking up a, I have a um, dongle we could use. We do, we have some, and I think we bought some too. Yeah. Remember the company that sent us all those? We have yeah. like 10 USB-C to uh, 2.0 adapters, so we might finally get to use them, but it actually looks like it's just booting into normal right. Windows 10, which is real. This is weird to see on a tablet. We'll yeah. see if it fits into this. This has a big camera, look at that. <laughs> camera. So yeah, it just pops right into there, easy peasy. Let's and see if our keyboard docks. can still connect um, with this on here. Okay, so that's what those things that look like USB ports, they're, or USB-C, they're literally mm, just like little, okay. It's supposed to be magnetic too, I think. So it should just kind of maybe click into place. I didn't feel it clicked very well. Oh, oh ooh, there it there goes. It goes. Nice. That was a nice click. Um, does that have a kickstand? It does. Look there at that. It's right on here. It's magnetic. It's, oh very God, really hard. Yeah, it's stiff. Wow. I mean, feel that. It's not bad. No, that actually it's actually pretty, pretty sturdy. Good. And then we have like our little stat. Oh, look at that! I can, ready to go. It has the uh, the the loading <laughs> cursor. This is actually really cool. I think we have never checked out something like this before, because um, honestly, when they were kind of getting hyped up, they were really expensive and they weren't really any good. Like these made no sense because you could just buy a tablet. And if we're being honest, um, Windows was never really designed to run on a tablet. Uh, I mean, that is what their intentions were. But you know, you just you had like these really nice. Um, Apple tablets, it just ran so much better with iOS. So it's interesting to see um, a full Windows 10 capable, which, do uh, you know how much storage? These have 128 gigs of yep. SSD storage. I don't know if it's- It's um, an actual SSD. It is an actual SSD. Yes. It's not that crappy like USB style MMC storage or eMMC. So that'll be pretty cool to see. And we do have an SD card reader, so you could add more games. We can get Warzone on it. <laughs> Heck on. yeah, Warzone, yeah. All right, we're gonna, let's type gaming real quick. We're type gaming. This. That'll type give it gaming. like 10 more FPS. Yeah, no, this really isn't too bad of a typing experience. We're gonna, we're gonna go no password. Yeah, this video is gonna be a little bit different from the norm that we do here. Cause I mean, yeah, we're gonna test it in gaming, but in general, we're going to recommend this as just a general use computer too. Cause at under $300, if it does work as a general use computer, having a tablet functionality for just like basic games with touch screen and just having this whole like setup could make a lot of sense for some people. All we gotta do now is wait for this to actually load in, um, install some games. I'm thinking like Minecraft or I don't know, Bean Battles. Bean and... Battles. We'll see if we can get a actual uh, mouse working as well, because I think that'd be pretty nice to have. Yeah, and then we'll keep this on power and then just kind of see what we got here. Okay, so we are now ready to go in Minecraft. The FOV is kind of ridiculous, so I apologize for that. But uh, wandering around, we're getting about 40 to 50 FPS. Um, the UHD graphics are pretty much pinged at like 90%. Uh, but it does look like the CPU is the bottleneck. Um, the, the, the actual graphics on the CPU might do a little bit better with a better overall CPU. Just having two cores and no like hyper threading is really holding this thing back. If it was like a two core, four thread, I'd probably expect a close to lock 60 FPS experience but um, I mean this laptop looks pretty good again we are running on a lower resolution than the actual um, screen comes with and I keep saying laptop because it feels a lot like a laptop this is a tablet um, and it just it does feel more like a um, actual well laptop than it does a tablet even though where's that little stylus that I put here we go can we actually interact in Minecraft with a stylus I don't even really know if there's anything I can even do with this no there's nothing so there you go no point in that um, but I mean, it's still playable. Let me see if I can get a crafting table ready to go here. You know, we just gotta get some dirt first cause why the hell not? And then Jackson's gonna break it cause he wants to break it. All right, FPS I see seems to be going anywhere between 45 to about 50, occasionally hitting that uh, frame rate limit of 60. So 
It's not exactly where we want it to be, but it's a little bit better. Um, the other games that I did install, I have very little hope of actually working. Um, I have CSGO and, well, Balloons Tower Defense should work perfectly fine. It's another game that's more of a mobile game. So again, with like a tablet, you probably would be thinking, oh, mainly only mobile games. So that may work. Um, I'm not sure what like the setting customization uh, we could do with it. I'm trying to focus here, but there's a, a dinosaur coming through the scene right now. It's like we're back in the... Uh, <laughs> the prehistoric times <laughs> but uh yeah there we go minecraft close to 60 fps it, it makes dinosaurs come out too so let's let's try another game shall we all right guys the next thing we're playing is obviously a game that'll work perfectly fine on something like this balloons tower defense Woo! Um, i'm in like tutorial mode because well i can't really skip through this so we're just gonna you know go ahead and do what it tells us to do uh, let's place one right here and hit start um, we are getting below 60 FPS, but I mean, in a balloon tower defense game like this, I mean, once you get towards like like crazy end game, then you probably will lose some frames. But I mean, this is perfectly fine. It's playable for games like this. I imagine emulation would be kind of cool on this too. So if you want to go back to like old, um, I don't know, like older Xbox games or uh, older GameCube, things like that, or uh, Game Boy games would be pretty cool on this setup. Um, a little portable, portable emulation uh, machine, and you can use like a Bluetooth controller. Um, for the most part, this thing is pretty versatile for that. It's not super powerful. I'm a little let down by the actual CPU in this thing, but it can play these games. It can at least do it um, while also being a, a pretty decent, just little office tablet that, well, actually looks more like a laptop than anything. And you can just pull this off real quick and run with a tablet if you really want to. So um, really not much else to say about this game. It works, 50 FPS. Let's go try one game that I know is not gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot, CSGO. All right, guys, as you can tell, we're trying, trying so hard to do a CSGO here. Um, it is lagging pretty bad. I can't even get the uh, Steam overlay open to actually show you guys FPS. But just based on the stuttery noises you're hearing, I think you guys have a pretty good idea of how not well this will run CSGO. I'm trying to move out of the way too, because this thing is like really reflective. You can just see me in the screen. Um, but yeah, again, the whole point of this thing was just to see what a Windows 10 tablet would look like, especially a newer one with a Jasper Lake in 4500 in it. Is it great for gaming? No, not at all. Can it play some basic games? Yeah, you can get away with some gaming, but even if this did run, I probably wouldn't recommend running a wireless mouse on this tablet and trying to actually play CSGO. Um, but we're just gonna let this load in. I'm gonna give it a shot here um, and see if we can actually get something playable out of this, but so far, not too promising. All right, guys, we are somewhat into CSGO. We're gonna go, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. This is this is not this is not what I envisioned. CS:GO. Look, oh, okay. Wow, look at that. It's trying its hardest. I swear. This I, if I had to guess, we're looking at like two FPS, maybe one. Um, but uh, yeah, this thing can't do it. Even at 1200 by 800, it just can't do it. I really do think it comes down to the fact that just running a dual core like this is not great and the clock speed really only boosts up to about 1.8 gigahertz. It's a tablet. Again, it's not gonna run super fast. There are some mods that I know people are gonna say down below. There is like the Intel overclocking utility where you could, in theory, boost up the voltage on the actual CPU and get more performance. But I have a feeling it, this thing is already close to thermal throttling because there's literally no cooling on this thing and it feels very warm to the touch. It is pretty much passive. There's no fan or anything. So doing any sort of thing like that and defeat the whole purpose of this, um, it, it would game a little bit better. But again, most of you probably gonna be running on battery anyways, if you're gonna use something like this. Uh, uh, I'm trying. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's what we got with this little thing. Can it game? No, not really. But in terms of just general usability, we'll go ahead and get out of this real quick. Um, it's fine. I mean, it works as a just general uh, little tablet slash laptop. Uh, you can do Word documents, everything like that. And then if you're actually running at the right resolution, which I'll go ahead and swap back to that real quick, it, it works. It works fine. Um, so let's go up to 1900 by 1200. Look sharp would be good for watching some videos, things like that. Um, and it's pretty smooth. So yeah, would I recommend this for gaming? No, not at all. But it does actually play some slight games if you really, really wanted to, but it could be good for your school use as well. Let's just uh, wrap this video up real quick, shall we? 
Okay guys, so we just did some benchmarking, I guess you could call it, on this Windows 10 tablet. Now, let's keep in mind before we talk about exactly how it did, it was $279. Of course, you could spend a little bit more and get like a $400 laptop that we actually well, did a video on where that thing could actually play some games. So in this use case, if you're looking mainly for gaming, spending more money on an actual laptop makes a lot of sense. But if you're in the market for a tablet and for some reason you want a tablet with Windows 10, I mean, there's somebody out there who needs that use case then I think this is really your only slash best option. Um, I assume Chewy probably has some different variants of this as well, but at under $300 for the whole combo, I still think it has a place in the market, just not ideally for gaming. So overall, this thing is really cool. It was really fun to check out. A little bit more of a niche market now, but you know, kind of keep it up to you if you want to buy it. Links in the description down below will take you to this and they will likely be affiliate links and they will help us out. If you don't mind checking out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, we mentioned that twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros a lot because we actually stream on there Monday through Friday and even Sunday for gaming. We build a lot of gaming PCs live over there and upcoming very soon will be a gaming PC that we will build live, courtesy of a sponsor, and give it away to you guys. So if you want to go check it out, twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, drop a follow and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next stream. Goodbye. Peace.